Hi everyone. So I wanted to do something kind of fun today and share some stories with you of when fragrances that I wore elicited very negative responses from people. We oftentimes talk about how fragrances can give us compliments, but we rarely talk about the flip side of things. And I figured this would be fun to do since we're probably all stuck at home. <laughs> so um, I will start off with one that I actually have in my collection. And um, I've mentioned this on my Instagram feed. So you've probably heard of it if you follow me there. So this is from the house of Serge Luton and this is A La Nuit. And um, A La Nuit is a very realistic jasmine and that's exactly why I adore this fragrance. So when I go out for my walks, there are a lot of jasmine bushes that are around the neighborhood and I just love the smell of that when the wind just passes by and it's springtime and you could just smell the jasmine. And this does a pretty good job capturing that. So on me, I get the bitterness and all the ugly sides of jasmine too. It has the creaminess and the dry down and to me that's the best part of this. And I think the creaminess is from either vanilla or coconut. Um, but yeah, this is um, a very indolic jasmine and it, it smells like a lot of the night blooming jasmines that I've smelled. But here's the thing, um, I cannot wear this out, especially when I'm with my family. I wore it once when I was hanging out with my mom. I thought this would have been a very pleasant springtime floral scent to wear. And um, she has a very keen sense of smell, so she's very sensitive to strong smells. And I did wear this when it was pretty hot outside and she basically said that it I smelled like a poopy flower <laughs> but she also does not like the smell of jasmine she doesn't even like drinking jasmine tea because of the smell and I don't know what it is I think she's very sensitive to indoles in a lot of white florals so she doesn't really tend to wear white floral fragrances especially Jasmine, she just cannot stand that smell, which I just think is ironic because she grew up in an area that had a lot of Jasmine, but maybe she didn't like the smell then. Um, but yeah, so my mom doesn't like it and my husband also cannot stand this, but I think it's for a different reason. Um, I wore it one time going to bed. Again, thought it was not offensive and he basically asked, what are you wearing? <laughs> and I said, oh, you know, it's this um, one that I bought and I, I like it, it's supposed to smell like jasmine. And he said, it smells like a funeral home to me. And I I don't understand that reference because I don't think a lot of our funeral homes here use jasmine. Um, oftentimes they go for like lilies or tuberose, but I think maybe he either can't tell the difference or the, the common aspect of the indolicness of those white florals smell the same to him. So he is reminded of death basically when I wear this. So this is one that I wear if I know I'm gonna be by myself. Um, I've never gotten a compliment with this from anyone. So I'm assuming, I guess most people just cannot stand the smell. If I were to wear it out, um, I have layered it on Narciso Rodriguez for her EDT. That's the only way I could wear this in public. Um, yeah, I usually don't layer scents. I tend to prefer wearing a fragrance on its own because I think it should stand by itself, but this one, I cannot wear it by itself. It's supposed to be a solo floor, so just jasmine, but I think that is just way too intense for a lot of people. So yeah, that's uh, Serge Luton à la nuit. All right, so for the next fragrance, it's one that I don't own, but uh, I did try it out when I went into the store and even though people didn't say anything negative towards me, I definitely saw how people behaved when they were <laughs> kind of close next to me. Um, I don't own it, um, but I think you should try it out because it's very interesting. And that fragrance is called Eau d'Hermes by Hermes. Um, there's not a lot of YouTube re reviews about this fragrance. And I think that's unfortunate because if I had a top three of animalic scents, I would actually put that one in my top three. I actually 
like it in a way where I find it very intriguing and fascinating. Um, but in terms of what it smells like, oh, um, you know the movie Eyes Wide Shut? If you put that movie in a bottle, that's what you would get. It's like, <laughs> it's a very naughty scent. Um, it smells like if you walked in on two people or maybe multiple people um, getting very intimate and you could smell all the sweat from their crevices <laughs> and they are getting really intimate like on a meadow like where there's flowers that's what it smells like to me and um, I read the reviews online because of the reviews I was really intrigued by it so I, I wanted to test it out but um, I didn't think it through and decided to spray it on skin in the store, not on a scent strip. And I remember I sprayed it, didn't think much of it at first. And I walked out of the store and um, I wanted to run to my car. <laughs> so um, it's supposed to smell like the inside of an Hermes bag. That's not what I get. Uh, I mean, I don't know what an inside of an Hermes bag smells like because I don't own one, but I don't, I don't get the inside of a bag when I smell it. It, it is um, sweaty and it's like you are witnessing something you're not supposed to be seeing. <laughs> That's how I kind of imagine it. But um, anyways, um, when I was, you know, trying to find a bathroom in, in the mall where I was at, I happened to pass by people that were a little bit too close and I got some double takes but not in a good way. I could tell people looked at me with so much judgment <laughs> and um, I just wanted to scrub it off because that same day I had uh, a meetup with some friends right after and I wanted to make sure that was all off before I met up with them. So no one said anything but I kept worrying about people smelling it on me but I I will say it's a very interesting, almost beautiful scent. I really admire the artistry behind it and I'm really impressed by the fact that it was made in the 1950s. So if you haven't smelled it and you're into animalic scents, but you don't want an animalic scent that is fecal, try this out or at least smell it uh, and let me know what you think about it. Um, I, I just think it's a, a kind of a cool scent, but not one that I would wear proudly or one that I would own in my collection. Um, so yeah, that was Hermes, Eau d'Hermes. Okay, the last fragrance I'm going to present on... Present? I'm not at work. <laughs> For my last fragrance that I'll talk about, I don't own, but I have a small decant of it. And it is from Tom Ford, and it's called Cafe Rose. And it's exactly what the name says. It's a bunch of different roses, all in one fragrance. Um, but they're very deep roses. It's not a fresh rose. There is supposed to be a coffee note in it or mocha. I don't, so here's the thing about coffee notes or accords. It doesn't really uh, come off prominently on my skin when I wear fragrances with coffee. So it didn't smell like straight up coffee on me, but there was something about it that smelled a little bit chocolatey. So it smelled really good with the, the roses. It's not quite like Tom Ford's Noir de Noir, um, but there's something about it that reminds me of like Arabic rose perfumes. So uh, that's why I don't own a full bottle of it. I just don't think it's that unique. But it's a very good scent in my opinion, but not everyone shares that opinion. Um, I wore it when it was fairly cold, I think. It was during the winter time and I sprayed it on before work. And that day at work, I was supposed to have like a one-on-one -on -one meeting with a, a co-worker and um, that meeting was in the afternoon. So the, the smell had stayed on me till then, till like two o'clock or so. And I remember I went into my co-worker's room, her, her office. She wasn't there yet. Um, she was coming in from something else. And I sat there and was waiting for her. She came in. And then um, she said, oh, um, sorry about that smell. I need to empty out the, the trash can. So uh, the trash can had like stuff from her lunch. So she, she took it out and she came back. She sat down in front of me and then she paused and she was like, man, it still smells in here. 
And then um, I realized when she said that, she was probably referring to me. And I think the light bulb clicked for her and she realized like, oh, I think you're the one that smells. And so um, she kind of went quiet. <laughs> and I remember feeling myself kind of sink deep into my chair, feeling kind of embarrassed <laughs> about how I was smelling. Um, yeah, she did not like it. And I could kind of sense her kind of um, backing away in her chair <laughs> farther away. We still had our meeting, but I kept thinking about how I was smelling and I felt really bad. Um, so yeah, that was my other experience. And I don't think it was that offensive of a fragrance, but it's, it's pretty strong. I guess it projects and can fill up a whole room. Um, so if you're into rose, like a heavier rose fragrance and you want something that projects and lasts very long, go for Cafe Rose, but probably don't wear it at work if you work with people who can't stand strong smells. So anyways, uh, that was all I had for today. I hope you enjoyed my stories. Um, let me know if there are any fragrances you like or maybe ones that you don't like that um, people have smelled on you and they have showed you a negative reaction. I think those stories are kind of fun. So let me know uh, in the comments below. And um, if you like this and you want to hear more of me rambling on and on about fragrances, go ahead and subscribe or don't, no pressure. Um, but yeah, hope you have a good rest of your day and take care. Bye.